We're making this video today to share with you all Susan's family and friends who could not unfortunately attend her funeral but have supported us in so many ways. I have wrote a little poem for Susan which I read at her funeral today but um, I would like to share it with you today and in it it sums up our thankfulness to you all for your support. As we gather here today we think about you Granny, all the time you shared with us and the laughs we had, so many. While we are sad to say goodbye, for your life we are so thankful. All your 97 years, always happy and so cheerful. To Dr McGarry and his staff and the local healthcare team, we are very much indebted, even more than it may seem. To Tom and Anne who cared for you, there really are no words. For their caring and their love, we want our thanks to be heard. Canon Hazel and Reverend Simon, with you have made a friendship. We are so grateful for, to them for leading us in this worship. Many people loved you and are heartbroken not to be with you today. But we feel their love is with us as we send you on your way. So many people lined the roads from Crina to Briscoe, Clune Cumber and Newtown Forbes, Leitrim and Sandy Hill. We're so thankful to those who took the time to send you on your way. We pray that you will keep them safe on this cold January day. Mrs Howard, Granny, Auntie Susie too. You were loved by so many so it's hard to part with you. Now that we should say goodbye, our tears they slowly fall. Remembering you in so many ways, it's hard to name them all. We think of you when the chickens cluck and the buzzing bees too. We feel you when the fire glows and miss you in your pew. We hear you when the wren boys call and at the Cayleys in the kitchen. You always had the metal in when the hay was a pitching. In your home in Leitrim, the kettle was on the brew. But now here we hear you in your riddles and in the cows that loo. You loved to be with family, neighbours, friends and more. You're my little man, you'd say, and now our hearts are sore. Our memories will never fade of our time with you in Cluncumber. But know that you live in our hearts, now and forever. <laughs>